It's a geological wonder so massive, so vast, and so imposing that it makes Mount Everest look like a molehill. And it's nearly invisible and will be forever unseen by the unaided human eye. It's the Mariana Trench, an underwater gash in Earth's crust that's five times longer than the Grand Canyon and much deeper. In fact, it's the deepest part anywhere in the Earth's oceans. Sunfish? Oh, yeah! <gasps> wow! At its blackest depths, this abyss is close to 6.1 miles deep. Wait till you see what lives here. 15 Scary Mariana Trench Creatures That You've Never Seen Before, Part 2. <laughs> Number 15. This ghostly jelly is informally known as the Guardian of the Underworld, and despite its size, this phantom jelly is rarely caught on camera and little is understood about its ecology and behavior. To date, almost nothing is known about this rarely encountered animal aside from detailed accounts of its physical description and rare sightings. The first specimen of the giant phantom jelly was collected in 1899, but it wasn't until 60 years later that scientists recognized this as a new species. Its red coloration helps it stay out of sight against the black backdrop of the deep sea. Down at these depths, it simply disappears, so, being able to catch this creature on camera is a rare sight indeed. The bell of this deep sea denizen is more than 3.3 feet across and trails four ribbon-like arms that can grow to more than 33 feet in length. Those long, draping structures you see in the video aren't stinging tentacles, they're oral arms, masses of spongy tissue typically used for feeding. Broad, curtain-like arms are perhaps an adaptation that increases the odds of catching their next meal. It's thought that the jellies use these arms to envelope unsuspecting prey. But don't worry, they don't eat humans. This jellyfish eats plankton and small fish. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Not all mermaids are the fairy tale versions of feminine hybrids often seen in pop culture. In fact, those mermaids barely skim the surface of this fish human legend. Many cultures have their own versions of mermaids, from a snake water goddess to a fish with a monkey mouth. Some are benevolent, some ambivalent, and many are openly hostile to the poor humans who cross their paths. But since no mermaid has ever truly been officially discovered or recognized as authentic by experts, maybe they just weren't looking deep enough. Maybe, just maybe, mermaids ruled the Mariana Trench, if this image of a preserved mermaid-like creature was to be believed as the real deal. Maybe this is what real mermaids look like. What do you think? Leave a comment with the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Whiplash Squid. You're looking at a family of small deep sea squid. Approximately 20 known species of the Whiplash Squid are represented with members found in the deepest parts of most oceans. They're known for their long tentacles with microscopic suckers and a large fin that helps them hover above the seafloor. These squid also have photophores covering parts of their body, embedded in the skin. Photophores are organs that are used by some creatures to produce light, either by chemical reaction or through symbiotic bacteria capable of bioluminescence. These photophores have a special lens of pigment cells which may allow the squid to modify the color of the light produced by the photophores. Whiplash squids are photophores that live in the deep sea where light from the surface is limited, and they range in size from quite small to relatively gigantic. Their most distinctive features are their extremely elongated tentacles and their very large ovate fins, which may occupy up to 80% of the mantle length in some species. It's from these whip-like tentacles that their common name derives. As they grow, they move deeper into the warm column, up to 4,900 feet, possibly to avoid being eaten by whales. Number 13, Frilled Shark. This sea monster's common name comes from its special gills. Unlike all other sharks, which have separate gills, this shark's first pair of gills go all the way across its throat. And as you can see, each pair is lined at the edges with a red fringe. No one has ever observed the frilled shark hunting, but scientists believe that it uses its fins as propulsive surfaces to launch itself at its prey. Its long jaws may allow the animal to take in prey half as long as its body. 
Speaking of jaws, the frilled shark's mouth is lined with 25 rows of backward-facing, trident-shaped teeth, 300 in all. The teeth are constructed for grasping and from their peculiar shape and sharpness, it would seem as if nothing that once came within their reach could escape them. The shark uses its bright white teeth to lure in prey, which sharply contrasts against its dark body. By the time the prey realizes they're too close and the shark is able to ambush them at that point, and it's game over. As if the teeth weren't freaky enough, the frilled shark has spines lining its mouth. This strange, prehistoric-looking shark lives in the open ocean and spends much of its time in deep, dark waters far below the sea surface. It's sometimes called a living fossil because it's changed so little since prehistoric times. Number 12. Giant Siphonophores The chances of this slippery sea creature wrapping itself around your ankle as you swim are very slim. Although it's been found off the coast around the world, from Iceland in the North Atlantic to Chile in the South Pacific, giant siphonophores live in the deep sea at 2,300 feet to 3,300 feet below sea level. With a body length of up to 160 feet, it's the second longest sea organism. It's the second longest sea organism. In fact, its length can rival that of the blue whale, the sea's largest mammal, although it's as thin as a broomstick. Giant siphonophores are a collection of highly specialized working parts. Some parts catch prey, others digest food, some parts reproduce and others direct the action by swimming. We'll explain. The giant siphonophore is not a single multicellular organism, but a colony of tiny biological components called zooids, each having evolved with a specific function. Zooids cannot survive on their own, relying on symbiosis a close and long-term biological interaction between two different biological organisms in order for a complete specimen to survive. And did you know this massive invertebrate can glow? With bioluminescence, it creates its own light. When it bumps up against something, its stem glows with a bright blue light. Number 11. Predatory Tunicate Meet the gaping mouth that survives on the ocean floor and in our nightmares. It's a great big mouth on a stalk like a hungry sock puppet. When little creatures wander in, the big mouth closes. Once they've sucked their food and they reset the trap and wait for more. Most tuna kits have a relaxing life, sucking water in and filtering out plankton. Not this sea creature. This sea squirt is unique for its predatory feeding style. Whereas other tuna kits nourish themselves by filter feeding, the predatory tuna kit waits around until some delicious minuscule marine life swims by. This strategy allows them to eat small prey who might be swimming about just above the seafloor. In short, when a predatory tuna kit closes its massive gob, that's about all the exercise it gets. A tiny crustacean dinner might not seem like much to us, but compared to the microscopic organisms that are the food of their shallow water cousins, a meal that we can actually see is quite the feast for these tunicates. Once the predatory tunicate catches a meal, it keeps its trap shut until the animal inside is digested. They mostly feed on zooplankton and tiny animals and their bodies are roughly five inches across. They're known to live in the Monterey Canyon off the coast of California at depths of up to 3,280 feet. Number 10. Sunfish It might be big, but it's totally harmless to people. The ocean sunfish, or mola mola as they're known traditionally, is a very large, sun-shaped fish that gets its name from its habit of floating on its side at the sea surface, soaking in the rays of the sun. It's the heaviest bony fish in the world, reaching weights of up to 5,000 pounds, and the distance from the top of the dorsal to the bottom can be as much as 14 feet. Adults are too large to be threatened by anything, but the smaller sunfish are a favorite meal of killer whales and large sharks. Sea lions are even known to bite the fins of small ocean sunfish and then play with them like frisbees. But they're no joke. Ancient Polynesians called the sunfish king of the mackerel. It was considered bad luck to kill them in case their loss prevent mackerel and other fish from making their way to the islands for fishermen to catch. Ocean sunfish are foraging predators that'll eat a variety of food, but mainly jellyfish, which are almost exclusively made up of water and are low in calories and nutrients. So a fish with a body as large as the mola mola has to eat a whole lot of jellyfish to get the required nutrients to survive. 
Number 9. Kraken Originating in Scandinavian folklore, the Kraken is usually depicted as an aggressive cephalopod-like creature capable of destroying entire ships and dragging sailors to their doom. This creature is the next best thing. Scientists recently achieved the holy grail of underwater cinematography by filming a living giant squid in 2019. They were first identified in 1925. However, since then, there's still very little known about this species. The few specimens have been captured in deep sea fisheries or found in the stomachs of this species' most significant predator, the sperm whale. So, this footage is quite a marvel. It's the first giant squid ever recorded in U.S. waters, a 10-12 to 12 foot juvenile in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's a small one. These massive squid are reported to measure over 40 feet in total length when fully grown. We know they exist, and we also know how long they've inhabited the sea, but capturing one of these elusive creatures on camera is almost unheard of. The lucky team behind the squid footage used a stealth camera system in their deep sea exploring. The machine baits these squid with an electronic jellyfish, which imitates the deep sea prey these squid love. Number 8. Deep Sea Cucumbers Globular denizens of the ocean floor, sea cucumbers come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and colors. And for scientists, they're endearingly uncharismatic. They have no faces or even eyes, just a digestive tract with a hole in either end housed in a strange body and their entire life revolves around sucking up the seafloor and pooping it right back out again. It's hard to imagine that anything, including humans, would actually want to eat sea cucumber, and yet they have several predators, from fish to sea turtles to people. Unfortunately, sea cucumbers come up a bit short when it comes to self-defense. Some species, like the sandfish, spend the day buried in the sand as a lame attempt at camouflage. Others take a different route and projectile poop their own internal organs all over any would-be predators that prod them a little too vigorously. They then simply regrow whatever organs have gone missing. Plus, all species of sea cucumber breathe with their butts through specialized structures called respiratory trees or butt lungs to extract oxygen molecules from the water. Scientists have found it nearly impossible to track sea cucumber movements. As one scientist put it, they just don't want to be studied. Number 7. Green Eye Strawberry Squid This squid has one normal-sized eye and one extraordinarily large green eye, which was brightly fluorescent, indicating the presence of a blue-absorbing fluorescent pigment. So, when researchers shined blue LED lights on this squid, it put on quite a light show. The strawberry squid is a member of a group called the cockeyed squids, so named because one eye is larger than the other. Like others in its family, it has asymmetrical eyes that let it perceive light in both dim and bright surroundings. This unique adaptation most likely aids in capturing prey by breaking their camouflage. Scientists think that the smaller eye has evolved to look down, watching for predators from the depths. The squid's much larger eye has evolved a lens with a fluorescent pigment that absorbs blue light. The bigger eye looks up, trying to detect the shadows of potential prey against the very faint light from above. Another adaptation is its semi-upright posture. This lets the squid simultaneously look up, down, and sideways as it jets through the ocean. Green-eyed squid can be found in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Atlantic Ocean at depths ranging from 3,300 feet to the surface where they come to feed at night. Number 6. Bone Worms these worms don't crave brains like zombies, instead they need bones. They're best known for extracting some of the final nutrients from whale skeletons fallen to the deep, but they don't discriminate among bones. They're officially called ozodex. They hold on to whatever bones they can find by drilling in with roots, which contain the symbiotic bacteria. They've also been found on fish bones and have colonized cow bones dumped from a ship. The worms don't eat bones directly, Instead, they digest fats within the bone. However, their style of eating is quite different in that they don't have a mouth or a stomach. They secrete an acid from their skin that dissolves bone, freeing up the fat and protein trapped inside. Then, symbiotic bacteria living in the worm's bodies digest the fat and protein. If all this isn't strange enough, the only worms doing any drilling are female. The microscopic males live inside the female's bodies. 
Feathery plumes splay from the other end of their bodies, which act as gills to extract oxygen from the seawater. And as a defense, these bone worms can retract these plumes into the body when they're disturbed. Number 5. Mucus Monster This fragile, free-floating organism found throughout the world's oceans, the giant larvacean is a tunicate, a type of invertebrate known for its protective, tunic-like exoskeleton made of proteins and carbohydrates. Only the giant larvacean doesn't have a tunic. Instead, it secretes enough mucus to construct a balloon-like house that encloses the animal and captures morsels of food from the water. This clever snot house is made up of two filters. The outer filter, which looks like a giant cloud floating around the larvacean, traps all manner of dead or drifting plants and animal particles. It pushes the smaller particles into the inner filter, the croissant-looking structure, while keeping the larger ones out of the way. The inner filter funnels the small particles down into the giant larvacean's mouth. You can see here how the giant larvacean flaps its tail inside its mucus house to move through the water, like an old kitchen sponge. Eventually, the mucus house becomes so full of debris, the giant larvacean will ditch it and create a new one. Giant larvaceans aren't just fascinating creatures, they're also incredibly useful. They hold the record for transmitting the largest quantities of carbon from the atmosphere into the deep ocean. Number 4. Rhinopius These creatures are much sought after fish for underwater photographers due to their scarcity, unusual shape, and beautiful range of colors. There are six species, but only three commonly found in Southeast Asia. The word rhinopius comes from the Greek word for nose, rhino, and ops, meaning appearance. They belong to the scorpion fish family and adopt the same sort of camouflage to their surroundings as a defense mechanism, but also to make feeding easy. They just sit and wait for fish and crustaceans to come within easy reach and will eat almost any fish that will come into its mouth. When disturbed, they raise the venomous spines along their backs. They can swim if they really have to, but tend to use their fins to walk slowly across the seabed. By hopping or pushing off with their pelvic and pectoral fins rather than swimming. But on a night dive, they're attracted by the torchlight using it for easy hunting and seems to jostle for the limelight, a great time to take underwater photographs. They dwell in coral reefs on rocky or rubble bottoms, sometimes hiding among the coral or rocks at depths between 10 to 30 feet. As docile as they appear, don't be fooled, these fish are deadly. Although not much is known about their venom, unlucky victims claim extreme pain and burning sensations. Number 3. Flabby Whalefish The largest living space on our planet lies between our ocean's sunlit upper layers and the deep sea floor, the midnight zone. It's home to our planet's largest ecosystems. And this creature, this bright orange, shape-shifting whalefish was spotted by scientists off the California coast. A remarkable find since only 18 have ever been seen during the researchers more than three decades of exploration. The female recently observed was seen half swimming, half gliding, 6,000 feet below the surface, while the researchers were using a remote submarine. The, the researchers named it the whalefish due to its whale-like appearance, but this was only the start of the mystery of the shape-shifting creature. The whalefish goes through an astonishing transformation when it reaches adulthood. For male tape tails, scales form along their body. Their jawbone disappears and a large nose appears at the front. The female whalefish, on the other hand, endures fewer changes. The different transformations are what led scientists on a wild goose chase for more than a century. Teams found the fish at different stages and assumed it was a completely new creature. Number 2. Siren Octopus Sometimes called the blind octopus because its eyes lack senses, the animal was spotted recently and filmed. Because blind octopuses are such deep divers, little is known about their habitat, diet, or lifestyle. This lovely orange siren octopus appears to be the long-lost love child of a sock puppet in a dance recital costume. It's part of a branch of the octopus family that's very elusive, preferring dark, deep waters far from the coastline. And they're so rare, making up about 15% of all octopus species. They're very old, 
In fact, what's thought to be the oldest octopus fossil yet found is a cirrid dating around 296 million years old. Those bristly bits you can see in the video are actually soft, gelatinous stalks, each tipped with a tiny sucker. They might look like bottle brushes, but if we know one thing about squishy invertebrates, it's that they're not very fond of touching them. Despite being very able swimmers, the animals often resort to using their enormous arms and web as parachutes. This jelly-style hovering can help with the conserving energy, crucial when you live in such an extreme environment. We don't know a whole lot about their anatomy and physiology, but we do know that they lack typical octopus features, like ink sacs and the ability to move around by jet propulsion. Number 1. Squidworm Have you ever seen anything like this? The deep waters of the ocean may be the largest habitat for life on Earth, but they're also the least explored. This squidworm was discovered using a remotely operated underwater robot exploring the deep waters. The slimy animal's flattened body is about three and a half inches long. It possesses 25 or more pairs of translucent white paddles arranged on its sides for swimming and up to 10 fragile tentacle-like appendages at its head that are the same length as its body or longer. The creature is eyeless too. It relies on frilly organs on its head for smell and what seem to be structures at the tips of its appendages specialized for touch or smell. Based on gut contents and videos of the squidworm, the researchers suspect that the squidworm feeds on marine snow, detritus that rains down from the upper layers of the ocean, such as sinking plankton. And new anatomical and genetic analysis of the squidworm has revealed it to be a segmented worm, just like an earthworm here on land. But its appearance is far stranger. This unusual free-swimming worm with squid-like limbs is one of a host of strange discoveries that await scientists in the vast, largely unexplored spaces of the ocean. Unless you're a remote-operated vehicle or a captain of a submarine that can reach the bottom of the ocean, you'll never find yourselves in Mariana Trench. It's too deep for most creatures on our planet. These amazing creatures are a very exceptional exception.